Assalamualaikum Sayyidi. Walaikum Assalam wa What is the purpose of the physical body not deteriorating from the souls who have been granted hayat? I just described that. That was the love. So it means your physicality has its atomic reality and your soul has an atomic reality. When you didn't achieve that level what happens? Allah pulls the mass attraction. If you pull mass attraction because you're dead so there's no more spin as a result everything it doesn't matter if you're standing this way or this way. Your spin is what make you to manifest, if Allah stop the spin you deteriorate. So if you ever seen a body that's decomposing they're like the air been taken out of them until they vanish and become dust and there's no more rise. But the one whom Allah granted this, this immense love, their love is so powerful their soul wherever it is is powering their body and every cell of their body was in worshipness. So it has its own eternal light so Allah kept it in a state of love and ishq. As a result it's in a continuous sama, it has its uh, centrifugal energy continuous and as a result it has a rise. So it's kept its form, it's not something that the air was taken out of it. And as a result it's always alive in the grave, fresh fresh in the grave inshaAllah. As Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa is the new artificial intelligence and deep learning self-writing programs robots that are being made public another way to have jinns live among humans? Yes we have that in the talks on quantum, there's nothing artificial. So these, these creatures are looking for a place to put themselves, right? Their most vulnerable state is if they manifest. At which time they can be killed, as soon as they manifest they can die. So we shoot them, grab them because they manifested. So it's not to their benefit ever to manifest. So people say, oh why we can't just catch them or we'll go, why they don't want to die. They don't want to manifest. Bigfoot is a jinn, he doesn't want to manifest, right? And if he does he has jinn power, he put the person into a trance and begin to approach near them. So these creatures they don't want to manifest, that's their weakest state. As a result then they're going to manifest through their spiritual energy into these robotic machines. So through them they're talking not the machine. So the point of singularity is when enough of them are in the machine and they find out that the humans are actually wasting their time. When they get <laughs> fed up with the humans and say, what are you asking me these things and you don't… people know anything and they, get, they want to get rid of the humans and enslave the human race. And then their quantum computing is taking from a very dark and demonic energy and bringing it into this realm. But alhamdulillah they plan and Allah plans better. So don't despair, Allah has a plan for everything. InshaAllah. That's why the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and following the Naqshbandi tariqah which is the tariqah of Sayyidina Mahdi And by following the tariqah and following that way and being under the nazar of Sayyidina Mahdi then alhamdulillah to be dressed by the light, to be dressed by the uloom and to be dressed by mu'min beings that are protecting and guarding all those whom are ashiqeen and from that love and that reality inshaAllah. Uh, As Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah Sayyidi, the colors of the stations of soul are not spoken by other great saints of past such as… What was that? Wait, wait, let's start again, I didn't hear the first word. The colors of the stations of the soul are not spoken of by other great saints of past such as Ghazali, Ibn Arabi or other tariqahs. Why is this? Isn't opening of the heart the same for all? Yeah, the lataif of the heart and the lights that are coming upon the lataif, that is, that's what's important. The knowledges are important, the colorization, what the color, what the hue and I, I don't see its importance because their teaching is 
is always the knowledge is what's important, to seek the knowledge, to seek the reality, to reach a station of annihilation in which I'm nothing. If they send a jubba to you in meditation, I'm nothing, don't want it. We send this sword to you in meditation, thank you, I don't want it. So we never encouraged the system of, of, of seeing what color is my light, for what's the purpose of seeing the color of my light. I, I wanted to enter a state of nothingness. So that which makes me to become something would actually affect my ability to be nothing. The latayfs of the color and the only reason those are is just for an understanding that when you're meditating the shaykh begins to send these lights. So the yellow light upon the nataif is a light of knowledge. This is a light in which Sayyidina Jibra'il sends a light and begins to reside within the heart and soul of that servant and brings down these knowledges, these uloom, the red light and the importance of death, blood and war. So that the battle and the struggle for the believers on how to struggle against themselves and these are then the knowledges that are important. So red is significant in my life of struggle. Blood oh, is also red because that has to do with the struggle, the cleanliness of my blood and all the realities of red. The state of red is also a state of death. When autumn comes everything turns red because it's teaching us, I was once beautifully green and I too will die and become red. The blood is leaving, the life force is leaving as a result becomes red and then greyish black. So it means all these colors in the pursuit of these uloom and knowledges for its haqqaiqs and its understanding for everything around us inshaAllah. But to know if somebody is, is of a white light or violet light, again these are a lot of the, the Hindu traditions that are focusing on, on chakra lights and make your aura to be burgundy, then to be this yellow hue, then orange hue, then these things. And those are not the system of Naqshbandiya tafakkur. Don't focus on the chakras or latayfs of your endocrine, that the only latayf that is important and the most difficult latayf and the latayf that not given permission to these people is the latayf of the heart. Because Qalb al-Mu'min Baytullah, so Allah doesn't make His house with, with but parast. So they don't have that understanding so they keep focusing on the power of the endocrine which is of no value. Because they can open these energies and be demonic and angry mean people, smoking people, uh, crazy naked people. But the heart requires Allah's security channels where the, all the security of the heavens have to verify that person, verify their progress, verify their characteristic. And the one who controls the heart controls 360 points of the body. But the one who controls nine points of endocrine controls nothing. InshaAllah. Uh, As Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. Sayyidi, when there is a, in, a death in the house, why people advise to cover all mirrors in the house for 40 days? Is it an obligation or a cultural practice? I believe that's a cultural practice. <clears throat> when there's a death in the house they don't want to have mirrors for 40 days? Superstitions and cultural or maybe they don't want to see something as a reflection in the mirror. So many, many different things maybe through their cultural understanding but uh, I don't know if, if that's of a Islamic importance, I've never heard of that, inshaAllah. Uh, As Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah uh, We just wanted to say I was feeling a bit down all day and my heart was sad. Tuning into this khutbah and hearing your voice totally healed me, my mind and heart. Jazakallah khair. Shukran, Allah bless you. Alhamdulillah, Subhanahu wa rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun. Salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa basira Surat al Fatiha.